Happening tonight, Oceanside Unified School Board discussing plans for when students could return to the classroom. However, leaders only considered moving elementary students back to campus, leaving out the many hopeful middle and high school students. The board voted 5-0 to zero to move forward with motions pre-approved by staff and teachers beginning March 8th. Elementary students receiving special education services will return to hybrid learning. Then on March 15th, general education students, preschool through fifth grade, will return to their own split in-person learning schedule. It's the question of when the rest of campus will return that unified concerned parents and students this afternoon ahead of tonight's board meeting. Dozens rallied outside the district headquarters hoping to have their voices heard. KUSI's Hunter Sowers has more. Yeah, good evening to you guys. The parents that I spoke to today at this rally say that they feel that the school board just is not listening to the many voices calling for a safe return to the classroom. But I want to make it very clear. They pointed out that the teachers are going above and beyond to serve their students, even if it is just virtually, and that they're not mad at specifically the teachers, more at the plans or lack thereof in place to get students back in the classroom. They're also asking for more transparency on where CARES Act funding is going and we spoke to students, those who are being directly impacted by not returning to the classroom. That they need to do what they're supposed to do and get our kids back in school. It's a scene playing out across San Diego County. I'm here because I think that the district needs to pay more attention to what works for parents and their kids, not necessarily for what works for itself. Oceanside Unified Voices joining the chorus of campuses who were frustrated that kids have still not safely returned to the classroom. Many parents saying it is possible. Absolutely. I mean, there's statistics and science that has shown that that it's not the kids. I mean, it's not it's not spreading within schools right now. Oceanside Unified returned to temporary hybrid learning before the Christmas surge, but last month voted to stay virtual even when the county moved to the purple tier which would have allowed them to resume in-person plans. You know, we have schools that are technically in Oceanside that are a part of Vista Unified, and they're blocks away, and they are all back safely. So let's get our kids back in class. For families with multiple kids in school. The worst, the worst thing I ever been on. The strain is even more severe. So it's been a lot. Um, I feel like we're still stuck in March of 2020. But time hasn't stood still. It's kept moving. And time is something seniors like Grace Ligon can never get back. So as like you can probably imagine, COVID and online school has halted my life and turned it upside down completely. Missing not only her final year cheering under the Friday night lights, or taking the field with her soccer team. It's it's like a piece of me is taken away because all of these things like are is what makes me who I am. And without these things, I don't feel like myself. She said students can be trusted with following all safety protocols and argues staying home is taking its own toll. I, I, me and all my other peers have suffered from mental health issues. Like it's just not healthy physically or mentally. So once again, we did reach out to the district. We asked them to speak to not only the parents, but the students who were going to be out here rallying today ahead of that board meeting. They said they wanted to wait until after it was over before they would speak to us on camera. But of course, it's that uncertainty of the future for so many that has students and parents alike frustrated. And of course, moving forward, they're also going to have to address the key issue of learning loss with so many students in all grade levels having not been in a classroom for so long. Many parents are wondering what the district is going to do to address that moving forward. Certainly something we are going to continue watching very closely for you. Reporting here in Oceanside, Hunter Sowards, KUSI News.